sweeties, it's me. Oh, shit. I'm feeling it today. I had one too many Lindells last night at the Vodafone. Her music awards. Oh, shit. And the drinking wasn't so much for fun. It was more a necessity to block out what a shambles that music awards was between you and me. You know, I like to be relentlessly positive. That's my kind of brand. But I found the whole thing a shambles from go to woe, to be honest. You know, just being honest. I mean, the staff were lovely. The, the underlings were running around, all these millennials helping me out. They had a lot of respect for me, which I really appreciate. I'm thinking it's more higher up that the problem was. I mean, for fuck's sakes. I was there presenting an award for most, you know, for people's choice. And they send out Cindy fucking a dune in the middle of it. I was humiliated. Let's do it together. Yes, let's do it together, ready? Cindy. It was so unprofessional. What the, f what the f, f was that? <sighs> and then after that, so the award went to um, Lord. So in case you don't know, it goes, so the woman, New Zealand woman, most powerful woman um, of the year goes to Lord's number one, then Rachel Hunter, then me. And she walked up and it's, she, she blinked me. That little upstart blinked me. Lord, whatever her last name was. What, if, what is her last name? What is Lord's last name? Bankovich or something like that. Anyway, she went and hugged Jacinda, and then she didn't even, she barely looked at me. I'd awkwardly hand her that, you know that award, it looks like some pliers, like a spanner, you know that award, that music award thing, it looks like, yeah, it just looks like a spanner or something. Who designed that? Anyway, I went backstage afterwards, and the millennials were very nice to me. I don't know, I just gravitate, millennials tend to gravitate towards me, and especially the, um, especially the, you know, the young men, the, you know, the flat, the, you know, the, the LGBT, um, QI, etc. They gravitate towards me, and so they came and gave me this beautiful, this beautiful three cheese panini, and we went bums up in my changing room, which was, which was a nice spin on it. But honestly, when I'm Prime Minister, and mark my words, I'm going to be, when I'm Prime Minister, I'm cutting all funding to music. Especially anything to do with Lord. It's done. You've dug your grave, Lord.